Tonight, there's a call to put guns like these on the streets in the hands of cops. They say, take a look. They're outgunned. A target like last night's shooting of two police officers. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Tonight, three suspects are being questioned in that attack. CBS 2's Adrina Bigas is live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Adrina. Good evening, Rob and Erica. Police say at least one semi-automatic weapon was used in last night's ambush of those officers. And in response, a few Chicago aldermen are stepping up and now saying they want more police officers in the city equipped to meet the force that they are faced with. Countless bullet holes from a high-powered rifle in this tactical van paint a picture of a violent night for two Chicago police officers. Just looking at the vehicle and just glad that... Uh, everything worked out the way it did. All the police have guardian angels and they had theirs in place last night. They made it out alive, but as Chicago gangs boost their firepower with semi-automatic rifles, 9th District officers say more shootings are now deadly. The same shot placement of a handgun versus a high-powered rifle causes uh, way more extensive damage. Now, several aldermen and the Fraternal Order of Police want more officers armed with the same type of weapons, and they want more training to use them. Alderman Willie Cochran says, when you have an area that's identified where gangs are carrying long automatic weapons, then there should be no question officers deployed in those areas are equipped with those kinds of weapons. The FOP says, if our members are being attacked with shotguns and high-powered rifles, then we need the tools to fight off those kind of assaults and and go home to our families at the end of the night. Tonight, there have been still no arrests and no charges in this shooting. Chicago police have asked us not to release the names of those officers. We know they are recovering tonight at home with additional security. Live outside Chicago police headquarters, Ardrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. Okay, Ardrina, thank you.